<laughs> Jordan Hacker. It's on the line. Hey, Jordan. Hello. Um, and I'm going to give them an opportunity to speak here in a moment, but I wanted to talk about what we're doing here. So, um, about 18 months ago, uh, Tim and Bob Manis and I conjured up the idea of a water bearer award to represent the Aquarian age and to represent great service to what we're doing. And I always envisioned that it would be given by individuals to individuals based on their respect for one another. And um, so this year there's going to be three Water Bear Awards. Uh, the first of these is going to Jordan Hogger of Taos, New Mexico. Jordan and I have been running a reading and commentary of the Red Book every Sunday for about the last two years. And um, I do it at 10 o'clock in the morning, East Coast time. Jordan does it at eight in the morning, uh, mountain time. And so to reflect my gratitude to Jordan uh, for his yeoman work in this endeavor, uh, all of which is on video, um, I am awarding the first Water Bear Award to Jordan Hager of Taos, New Mexico. his presentation at the Hermitage. Tim was the first American artist to have a one-man show, first American to have a one-man show at the Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg after the fall of the Soviet Union. And so with these awards goes a copy of the original catalog. Uh, from that show. And Tim has written a little write up about the water bear. Uh, Tim, do you have a copy of this available to you right now? I can pull it up in a moment. Okay, I'd rather have you read this because I, I get a little emotional. You might not be able to hear it. It's okay. <laughs> You, you cannot hear him? Well, not right now, because he's, <laughs> he's not. <laughs> no, it'll be hard. I could hear, but several people. I can hear. I can hear. Oh, okay. okay. You just yeah. tell him to turn up his volume. Well, tell well, him. I've got mine on the Max. Yeah. Yeah. my speaker. Just walk to the middle here. <laughs> Are you there? <laughs> Yeah, tripod. Yeah. I, I, I'll just read it, Tim, if you can't do it. You have 30 seconds. Well, first of all, I'd like to Thank you. 
had it in Fox Truth for 1,200 and some years. And there is obviously a very new opening of some kind happening in which we are participants. And, uh, and so this sculpture kind of represents that kind of unfolding in humanity. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I have the same... Well, I, I, I'll read what you've said okay, here. You... May, I, may I read what you... I'll read what you've said here. Okay. Okay, so this is on Tim's letterhead. The water barrier image signals an absolutely different and new consciousness now unfolding for mankind, the Aquarian age. The expiring age of Pisces was about dualistic myth of right, wrong, and good, bad. Aquarius is about the individuation process of self-understanding a process that can unfold in each of us at any time. I believe the symbol of Aquarius best conveys that mystery. This troubled world needs creative thinking, and there's not a one of us that's not needed. Many suffer from a collective depression, a sense of meaninglessness of life, only worsened by COVID and political bifurcation. The religion is an answer for many to speak a common language in secular society that means turning to the unconscious for nourishment. That's the challenge here, to help people understand the true potential for meaning in their lives through growth and creativity, both personally and collectively. I feel strongly that our quest is true and creativity of any kind is the new path to a meaningful relationship to God or the universe or nature, if you will. This image channels a process happening across the US and the world, I feel. <laughs> I feel that there is a great potential, particularly among those interested in raising consciousness to encourage creative thinking across the spectrum. Okay, so that's what Tim has written. And so... Way to go, Tim. Beautiful, beautiful. Miss you, Tim. Tim is a great artist. Can you, can you air shoot that across the world, please? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> laser shoot it in the sky. That's beautiful. I haven't met you, but that's beautiful. Oh, I know a mural is Definitely can turn that into yeah. a mural. So, um, all of you, of course, are wondering about the two statues that are here behind me. And there are two of colleagues who have helped me so much in the past year and there's all of the organizers of Confluence 22 have a water bearer but one does not and so the second water bearer for 2023 goes there <coughs> That's going to be around four or five thousand years. <laughs> 
Thank you, Judith. Well, thank, no, thank you. Yeah, Judith, thank so you. So much. And I feel like I feel finally like I'm one of the team. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so uh, I'm grateful and I thank you very much. You should have got the whole thing, please. Uh, to Tim, I don't know if he's still there, but to Tim, this is now your second work, work of art that uh, I possess, and I'm happy to have two. <laughs> <laughs> right. right there. And uh, there's one other that has been a, a rock for all of us over the last several years, oh. and that's Leah Watson. And this is the original water bearer. Oh, wow. Um, oh, she got the that because you're an original person <laughs> and you have supported me psychologically in more ways than I can say over the past year. And so the third water bearer goes to Luke Watson. Thank you, everybody. Any special words? Thank you, Tim. Speech. Yes. yes, tell us how you feel. Speech. Tell us, speech. Tell us a little bit how you feel. Speech. Yeah. She's shy. So one other thing that takes so long and in his package, uh, which is a cover Fast from I love it. his father's book of sermons. After his father retired, his father published his sermons. And it's called Why Jesus never had ulcers. <laughs> <laughs> and other thought-provoking questions by Robert Ed Holtz. And cool title, I must say yeah. that since I've known Tim and Judith, I've come to really respect the, menace, the, the Methodist yeah. way of being in the world. And so just wanted to mention this to everyone. I'll put it here so that you can photograph the cover if you want to. So Tim, you get the final word here. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. 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 Th
finally a word from our sponsor, Dr. Young. Uh, I think I can do this without hanging up on Tim and Jordan. If I do hang up on you, I apologize. Um, but I won't take it personally. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, oh, I shot it with the unconscious and still listen. <laughs> yeah. So um, thanks to my brilliant wife, who from whom you received the feather. Um, Thank you. Earlier in the session, yeah. and who wanted to share something with the group, um, she has found for me the passage that Dr. You wrote in, in, in the last 10 days of his 86 years. As any change must begin somewhere, it is the single individual who will experience it and carry it through. The change must indeed begin with an individual. It might be any one of us. Nobody can afford to look around and to wait for somebody else to do what he is loath to do himself. But since nobody seems to know what to do, it might be worthwhile for each of us to ask himself whether by any chance his or her unconscious may know something that will help us. Certainly the conscious mind seems unable to do anything useful in this respect. Man today is painfully aware of the fact that neither his great religions nor his various philosophies seem to pro provide him with those powerful animating ideas that would give him the security he needs in face of the present condition of the world. And uh, I apologize for the, the male pronoun, but Dr. Young was born in, 19, in 1875, and this was written 10 days before his death in 1961. Uh, so now you've all heard it. This appears on page 101 of the, of the uh, hardbound edition of Man and His Symbols. It's, I haven't found it in the, paperback edition, but it, it, the topic is healing the divide, it's healing the easy. divide. And so, um, anything else, Tim? Thank you, Jordan, for joining us today. I know you want I'm to be. So I know you want to. I know you want to be out on the plaza, but you gave us a little bit of your time. So, anyway, I'll see. You. Most of you probably don't know that last year Jordan paid to participate in Confluence 22 and then he got uh, COVID right at that time so he was unable to join us uh, a year ago and we were hoping that he could come this year but uh, he uh, makes his living on the plaza in Taos, New Mexico and this is his prime time to earn income before the winter sets in. So thank you, Jordan, for being here. 
Thank you, Tim. Our festivities, our festivities are at an end. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.